Alrighty, alrighty. I see Adam, Adam Homer's tuned in. Paul Harris, thank you so much. How's everybody doing? Uh, Nicole, how's it going? <clears throat> Hey, Duncan Musaka is in the house. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Obviously, guys, those that are familiar with what's about to happen, brace in, brace in, brace in. Like what Nicole says, get pumped up. Guys, today we're talking about something that's near and dear to my heart, which is branding and how you can actually really craft your um, you know, your online reputation, okay? It takes a lot of time to build and it takes 10 seconds for you to actually tarnish it. So I'm hoping that you are all um, buckled in and uh, you're all relaxed and ready to get the day started, okay? And Austin says, Nicole, thank you so much, Austin, for tuning in. I remember we just uh, connected today. Brian Court, thank you so much for tuning in. And Austin, yes, uh, we will be connecting. And I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. I was getting ready for the show. All right, so if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Prosper, and um, I'm based in Melbourne, but I help small businesses like yourself to actually grow, essentially using digital marketing strategies. So every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we hang around here with people like Robert, with people like Nicole, just so that we can help you start, scale, and grow your business so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I want to help you curate and actually create an online presence that will be optimized so that your business is profitable and you actually enjoy working in it, all right? A lot of us are really trying to earn a dollar out of 50 cents online and if there's no people that are on the sidelines like myself giving you a high five it will all feel like you're not really doing a lot all right so just a real quick question if you've got a beverage on your side can you let me know what you're drinking or what snacks are you uh eating while you're watching this i just really want to know what's around you what are you doing and who else is around while we are um live like this rob bats thank you so much for tuning in man and good afternoon to you all right also can you also tell me in the comments there if you are watching this live or if you're going to be watching this on post production can you also just let let me know that you're watching the replay, all right? It just really helps me with keeping track with who is on and what I am going to be delivering because I really want this to be valuable to you, okay? All right, so it does take a lot of time to build a reputation. It does take 21 years to be actually 21 years old, all right? So your online reputation is like a relationship, all right? It's like a relationship with just about anyone. Except that this relationship, you're having it with people that are in the comfort of their home. Like right now, they're drinking different drinks. All right. Esam, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So that's the reason why. Even though you don't have to be everything to everyone, but you really got to make sure that you are maintaining that relationship so that people get to know you. They get to trust you and then they will do business with you, all right? So like I said, an online reputation is like cultivating any relationship you might have with your father, your mother, your spouse, your, your uncle, your dad, your boss, your mentor, anybody else, all right? Except that this relationship is with hundreds and thousands of other people, some that you know and some that you don't actually know that they're following you. Right, so it's really tricky to manage people's moods at certain times, and, and it's trickier than you know normal relationships, and it also is very difficult to maintain with the same people over and over and over again. That's the reason why we really want to talk about how you can improve your online reputation so that all the hours that you're putting into work are not all gonna amount to nothing. All right, Austin, I see you're in there. Chris Agua, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, even though we are told don't worry about what people think of you, etc., etc., but you should be worried about what your prospects actually think of your brand. All right, that you should look at what feedback they're giving so that you can improve yourself, improve your services, and you also observe what others are doing. All right, uh, Steven Seaton, thank you so much for tuning in. Joel Ostrowan, how's it going, my man? All right, 
Even though as entrepreneurs, it's, it's an oxymoron, the things that I'm talking about today. And it takes a really intelligent mind to balance both um, sides of the coin that actually mean the same thing. First of all, you don't have to worry about what people say about you and, and in terms of decision making. But you should worry what your customers and what your clients are paying attention to so that you know that you're relevant. Does that, does that sort of make sense? If, if it is making sense, can you type in the, can you type in yes so that I can continue? All right. You don't have to worry what the world or everybody else is not your prospect is doing, but you have to worry what your prospects have in store or what they are thinking about your brand or how they feel like you can be the person that can help them. All right. So you have to reflect on their feedback so that you can improve on yourself. If a lot of people are not, te if people are telling you that maybe we can't see your videos or your videos are not clear enough, is it going to be wise then for you to just continue just because no, I shouldn't listen to what people say. You have to listen to those people that are taking care of, um, I mean, that are paying attention to your work. That way you can improve yourself and then you can observe how you can be of service. You also want to make sure that you're staying in good company amongst people that will actually tell you when things are not working and so that they can, you know, tell you before you invest a lot of time, money and effort. All right. And above all, your online reputation depends on you being honest and reliable. Can you imagine if you have a, a mechanic that you're probably paying thousands and thousands of money for just in case something happens and on the day your car breaks down in the motorway, he's nowhere to be found. Do you think you will be, you know, you would have a good feeling about that, that, that mechanic? I don't think so. All right. So as a business owner, you are working with people's hopes. You're working with people's dreams, people's ambitions, people's goals, people's lives, people's relationships, all of those things combined. So you have to make sure that your reputation precedes who you are and what you have done so that a lot of people will get to know you, like you and trust you. But then there's ways that you can do it in person. There's ways that you can do it online so that you can actually cultivate that reputation and you can get more business and you can actually get more money while having less struggle. The reason why a lot of people are not successful in their business or anything they're doing is because nobody knows who they are. Nobody actually knows what they do and nobody actually knows what it is that you provide to people as a service or as a product. Because your reputation is not big enough or strong enough for anybody to remember you further than three seconds. LA Williams, how's it going, man? And happy birthday to you, buddy. Happy birthday, LA Williams. Everybody wish LA Williams a happy birthday there. Christian Wasileski, how's it going, my brother? All right, so it takes all these years to build, but it takes seconds to tarnish. I'll give you a, a specific example. It takes 10 seconds for somebody to just swipe right. You know that, right? It takes 10 seconds for somebody to just swipe right. But it took maybe 24 years, 30 years, or 35 years for you to grow into the person you are actually. But it takes somebody 10 seconds. All right. So at the end of the day, you really got to make sure that you're nurturing that relationship by actually building an audience that understands and values your work. All right. And when you build that audience, you nurture that audience by giving them value because you are paid in direct proportion to the amount of value that you actually give back to the marketplace. A lot of us are just thinking you can just wake up, have a different profile picture every single day, and that's a rebrand. No, 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 no. People need to know you for something. You need to be needed for something, and that you can craft through reviews, you can craft through your, your content, you can craft through actually relating to the people you're going to be demanding money off of. All right? So in this show today, we're going to be talking about exact consistency, you have seen this show grow. For those of you that have been watching ever since we started, every single day at 2 p.m., if I can handle it and if I'm available, no way would I have an excuse for not showing up for 30 minutes. 
And that consistency, I've given, I've been given so many re reviews upon that, that people are actually changing their lives. It's actually impacting a lot of people in the way they do business. All right. So if you're being consistent and you deliver on your promises, people will start knowing you for something. Now you need to figure out within your business, what are you known for? What would people pick up the phone and ring you for and say, hi, Christina, hi, Chris, hi, Jesse, hi, Joel. I want XXX from you. All right. With any, you know, human relationships, living up to your word and being consistent in all areas of your communication with your customers is very essential to building a great online brand. People are busy. Right now, that's why I asked if you're drinking water or if you're watching something else or you're probably just relaxing and it's during your lunch break. It's because I just came into your newsfeed, not because you were waiting for this, but it just happened while you were doing something else. If I'm not consistent, nobody would give me the time of the day. If you're not consistent, if the bus is not consistent, people will complain. So why would you expect anybody else to just take you at face value? Whatever it is that you have promised, you should know that you have the, you know, you've got the duty of care to make sure that people are actually nourished with either the content or the gifts that you have. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes when you, when you just say you're going to do something, follow through and make changes that you've committed to do. It's the key to maintaining an honest relationship with people. Can you imagine if your parents were lying to you every single day or if your granddad or anybody else that you know lied to you every day? Would you still be looking at them eye to eye? So like I said right at the start of this show that every person that's a profile within your friendship or your niche or your list or your groups or whatever it is, it has to be you know, you, you have to treat them as you know, as, as a person that is their own hopes, that is their own dreams. They're taking time out of their day to listen to you or to buy things for you so that they can afford you your lifestyle. So why do you think that they, they, they would do that and it's not benefiting them? All right. So if you say you're going to be doing something, stick to that word. And, you know, everything that's on the Internet is written in ink, guys. Every single thing that is said online is, is, is public, no matter how private you think it might be. So any, anyone that's interested or is following through can actually see how you respond to other people, whether you lied or if you just paid lip service. You could spend billions of dollars trying to create a profile or trying to get you know photos taken, but if people have a certain perceived idea of what your brand is, if your brand doesn't care or if it doesn't speak to the customer in, in, a, in a really, really good way or it's not uh, supportive to people that are making complaints or you have a lot of unhappy customers that, that are you know making you know remarks about your brand, no influencer or no marketing strategy is actually going to help a dead product or somebody who is not consistent. Paul Harris says, online is no different than having a bricks and mortar business. You must show up every single day, open shop because somebody needs your solution and they will think of you first. Ah, oh, that's really amazing. Because we have, we have forgotten, we think that we're hiding behind a screen, but whatever you're doing, every post, every person you talk to, every, every high five, every argument you get onto online is written in ink. So you want to make sure that you are crafting a, a, a favorable, um, you know, reputation because you're not going to be there when your customers are speaking. All right. You have to take control of things like um you know your customer feedback that is the opportunity that you can actually make first of all real changes in your business because if somebody complains about something regarding your work or the way you deliver your stuff you, you it's an opportunity for you to make a change they are actually doing you a favor they are not attacking you as a person you can now actively improve upon that feedback because there's a rule that says if somebody offers you a mint, never refuse a mint or a breath or a fresh mint because you don't know what they're smelling. All right. 
people take up to from six to eight times to actually realize if they want to do anything with your brand. Every status matters. Every person you talk to matters. Every group you're in is part of your brand. Every course, every, you know, people in your friend list, whatever you do online matters. And if people are giving you feedback, accept it. Because they are helping you build your reputation online because you can't see what they're seeing. All right? And savvy customers take notice when there's improvement. You know? And when there's improvement, people like to be a part of that. And they will come back for more. So you want to make sure in the process of you building an audience, you're actually creating and relating with them. Relating with them because they can see on the outside. You need to step outside the picture so you can see the whole frame. All right? We are now living in a 24-hour world. All right? So about that feedback, if you are not being you know, intentional about gathering that, you know, feedback, people will continuously be talking online. So whatever you do, whoever you talk to online, ensure that if you can get some sort of testimonial from them, have an online review strategy. Because online reviews are becoming omnipresent. If somebody Googles your name right now, at least if there's stars on it coming in from Google or your Facebook page or whatever it is, it will help them with the transaction um, you know, um, mentality. The first thing that people are doing, they're Googling your business. They're not just taking your word for it. Yes, you might be the best person around town. Yes, you might be this. Used to bees don't make no honey. Continuously provide a really good service. You know, stay consistent to your brand. And, you know, really make sure that you're crafting that online presence. And for you to really, really improve your online reputation, you should have a solid strategy for managing your online reviews. Every phone call of a person that you, 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 you make or whoever you help, try and see if they can give you back that review. That would not only make you look good or for you to brag, but it would also help other people, um, you know, prospects to make that decision. You know why? Because third party validation is always better validation than saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. You need people around you to be your influencers, to share your stuff, to talk about you at a barbecue. But online, you also need them to leave a really good, high-sounding testimonial. Because if people are not talking about you as a business person, then you are good as nothing. Charlie O'Shea, I'm also in Australia, man. I'm actually in Melbourne, so let me know where you're at. The other thing about, about online reviews, guys, is people would rather leave a bad review than actually leaving a really good review. So you've got to prompt people to say, hey, listen, you've probably been following me for a while or you've probably been seeing, um, you know, my work for a while. Would you be kind enough to leave a review so that we can help other people that are in the same situation as you? Yeah. Sometimes people only wait until they're super mad to vent online. And most of the time it's probably too late and you can't control that. So why not have somebody commit a little bit, all right? Why not let somebody commit a little bit to being nice and then from then on, there's no way they're going to see, you know, your work being bad. It's a way of training your audience with little or micro commitments. All right, so you want to make sure that you're actually make, asking for, for these reviews every single time that somebody comes, um, you know, you do work for them. Because most of the time, like I say, is people don't bother leaving you any reviews online unless you actually um, ask for them. Yeah? <laughs> unless they're actually really, really mad. That's the only time somebody goes to leave a review. And guess what? They'll also ask their friends to come and leave a bad review on, on that aspect. 
I've got a friend, I think her name is uh, my friend Melissa. She was so annoyed at a restaurant, um, you know, and then she left a bad review and she sent me a message and she's like, Prosper, you've got such a big platform. Can you also write a bad review for these people? If I was somebody else, I would have gone in and I'd be like, yeah, their toast is soggy. Even if I haven't been there. So you want to make sure that your online reputation, you are fostering it in such a way that when people have good reviews that they have left, it will be difficult for somebody to, to leave a bad review. Have you ever noticed that when, 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 when you walk into um, a group conversation, if people are saying nice things, you don't want to appear like the douchebag. So you'd always write good things. So you want to already train your people to write nice things about you because you never know where your clients are searching before they come and purchase from you. All right? So besides being consistent, besides being actively uh, fostering and asking for those reviews, just be an awesome person so that people don't have to go and, and backlash at you while you're not watching. Loretta, how are you doing, my friend? You know, just try and quickly monitor your online presence and, 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 and look at who is responding to your stuff. Ask them in confidence. You know, just because your mom says it's cool. All right. Just because your mom says it's cool. It doesn't mean that the whole world sees it like that. You know. You may really... Oh, Petra, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a fantastic break. I don't know. <laughs> All right. You may be so much in love with your brand and you think it's amazing. And maybe your girlfriends and your parents and your dog also agrees. But none of that matters unless your market... You know, unless maybe your market is just the people that come to your, your Thanksgiving dinner or to your Christmas lunch. But if your market is real people, if your market is people that have hopes and dreams and people that have aspirations like me and everybody else who's in the profile below you, you have got to start paying attention to what your audience is saying and what they're reviewing about you. Because your mom is never going to buy or purchase anything from you. If mom says your profile is cool, ask your somebody who's in your target audience. Yeah? You want to hope that your, your customers feel the same way, about, you know, the way you feel about your brand. You know, it's, it's really the case. You have to constantly be listening, watching and creating and relating in such a way that you, you, you are in parallel with them. All right. We are growing. All right. We, we grow every single day. People have so many influences around them. You never know who they're listening to or what they heard on the news on their way to work. And if your brand is probably just misses one small thing and then you are just off brand a little bit. People completely delete you, you know, take you off their system. So your online brand is consistently and, and, and constantly evolving. Don't just stick to what you think is right. Have, you know, people assess it from, you know, fresh eyes. You need to get out of the frame so that you can actually see the picture. But I'm also kind of mad at you guys. Every one of you guys, I'm so angry right now. For the past six months, nobody was telling me that my profile picture looked like some guy who's sitting in a hole. I had to change it yesterday. Why wouldn't somebody tell me? <laughs> you know? So, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you really want to stay ahead and keep your business afloat. You need to proactively manage and improve all the feedback that you're receiving from the internet. Maybe the feedback is um, people not hanging around your profile. Maybe there's something that they're not enjoying. Find out what that is. That is feedback. When people are not responding to your offers, that is feedback. When people are not sharing your stuff, that is feedback. Oh, th this is the part you get to, to share this video because I just mentioned, that should be the trigger word. Every time I mention share, that should be our secret word when, when I'm on live. Yeah, that is feedback. When people share, 
When people share your stuff, that is feedback. All right? Just like every, like with anything, you you bath daily, you you you, you personally me meditate every single day. Make sure you are constantly being on the pro, you know, on the prowl to monitor your online reputation and presence, because people buy from those they know, like, and trust. Yeah. So when you monitor your online brand, it, it helps you find out what your brand image currently looks like right now. And that's the first step. What do people think of you? What do people, um, you know, you know, uh, come around to get from you? Be constantly asking. People are evolving. People are changing. Are you still relevant? Because used to bees don't make no honey. Just because somebody got it in in your funnel or you know started following you six months before. Maybe they were just looking for tips and tricks to work on their website. Now that they have their website, what have you got in store for them for that part of their journey? All right. You need to monitor where you are right now and also put out a trajectory of where you want your brand to be and how you want to be perceived and just reverse engineer it. I'll tell you right now, guys, I'm on a mission to create a hundred million dollar brand. This is going to take me my whole life and I'm going to do it in four stages. The first stage is what we're watching right now. The consultancy, um, the, the everyday branding and also, you know, working with other coaches and consultants and building their businesses. All right. And then the second stage is going to um, come around when I actually have a software as a service because I'm creating the blueprint into a daily mentoring uh, pocket mentor thing that I will have a, a membership for. The third stage is me building around all those businesses that we've helped created and I'm investing in them. And the fourth stage is philanthropy and helping other kids in Africa and living up to my promise that I said I was going to be a mentor for these kids. So all I'm just doing is reverse engineering the brand that I want to put out there. And in the process, I'm so grateful that you guys are helping me build this whole thing up. But I also have to check, am I still relevant? Am I still needed? Am I still on point? All right. You might not know what's going on around you, but at least you can control some of the things that you can. Your online reputation, the reviews that people are saying about you, who gets to share your stuff, what audiences you're invited to, etc., etc. All of those things will help you build that online reputation that we're all looking for. It takes years to build a, rep a, a, a brand, but it only takes seconds for it to be tarnished. So like I said earlier on, every relationship matters. Every group you're in matters. Every status you are in matters. Every comment you put out there matters. Because your relationship with all the people that are watching and looking and probably getting ready to purchase your things, you never know what stage they are within their buying cycle. So that makes it really tricky. So the easiest way is to just be yourself, just be a normal human being and be consistent and deliver on your promises. Because if you keep chopping and changing, you become a one click wonder and people ain't got time for that. All right. So just work with what's what actually works for you and, and maintain that. Eventually, you start earning more money. You know why? Because people know you for something. You are known for something. That's the whole point. Because if you keep changing your offering, people are going to get tired of you and that's it. All the work that you've put in, nobody's going to take notice. So you want to start being conscious about what your audience is actually saying and, you know, just reflect back on what sort of feedback you're receiving to improve yourself because we're here to learn. I mean, we're here to live and we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. But who are you going to contribute to if you're not learning what these people are living or going through?
So your brand is to actually, you know, make sure that you stay relevant and you are putting out the work that people actually find useful. All right. Observe what the others are doing and, you know, stay in really good company and just be honest and reliable. And that way your reputation stays solid. It may not be easy, but it is that simple. All right. So if you really need, um, you know, to improve your online branding and reputation management, send me a message. Look at how I've created this brand. Look at the consistency that, consistency that I've built around my show, my work, my family, and everything else. It helps so that you appear reputable and you're credible because people like doing business with those that they know, like, and trust. If you're all over the place and if nobody knows you for anything, it will be difficult. All right. So let me know if you really, really need to, um, you know, um, improve your online branding and reputation. I will definitely help you. Send me a message. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.